One of the things that we feel is really important is when we bring people to Guatemala, that they see everything that the country has to offer. If we were to bring a trip here and just do the community, you would never get a feel for the beauty, the people, and really the diversity that Guatemala has to offer. So when we come here, we try to start with the city. Visit the Central Market, we see the history, we see the Parliament buildings, and then we try to do something very touristy where we're learning the history. Uh, it might be a tour of Guatemala City. And uh, yesterday we did Los Amates, which is the beautiful waterfalls, the Niagara, they say, of Guatemala. So when you do that and then you get to go to the community and you see where the community has poverty and need, you understand why people want to stay in Guatemala. You understand why people might want to leave because there is poverty, but why they want their families to stay here. And you leave knowing that it's much more than just one thing. You know, Guatemala encompasses city life, agriculture, there's poverty, there's tourism. And we really believe that you need to leave when you, when you come on a trip with us with that ability to see all those sides because it gives you that really deep understanding of the country and why it's so special. We're moving around Guatemala, uh, being a more tropical country, we get to see things that, having grown up in the northeast of the U.S., we didn't get to experience and see. Um, the palm trees, the coconut trees, the banana trees, and, and now the, the coffee farms. I'm a coffee lover and uh, getting to see the plant, spot them all over the place. But the mountains are incredible. The active volcanoes are something spectacular to see and experience. And uh, putting those things all together is uh, a very unique package that Guatemala has to offer. Um, that was super sketchy. <laughs>
now I waited for you in the passenger seat There's only so far I can ride in your dreams While you were chasing everything else but me I'm starting to break out from the grave See, I finally opened up my eyes So when we do a build with Techo, uh, Techo spends a lot of time in the community itself. Uh, they go there weekly, they learn the leaders, they learn the people, and they work with the community to determine who really needs a house. And sometimes they do other things. They might do, a, we've built playgrounds, we've rehabbed school kitchens, we've built a community center. Um, but every year we try to focus on houses. It's nice to bring people here and actually get to build with the house. So once they've scouted the community, they get to know the community, they determine who is in the most need. It's not really a political thing, it's really the community determine who's most in need or in danger of not being able to provide for themselves. We then get to go in and we break up in little teams and then we work with that family. So a family is required to put in a little bit of payment into the home. They're required to help clear the land. They're required to work with our build team. And in most years, this year's a little unusual, they're actually required to feed us lunch. Now, Techo works with us to provide them with beans or gluten-free pasta or pasta or things like that that we can eat. But the family then cooks and then we eat with the family. So that build becomes so much more than just building a house. It's, it's building a relationship. Um, many of us don't speak Spanish or we've worked in communities that speak Mayan, um, like Quiche or there's actually 32 different dialects, but it doesn't matter. By the time we finish and we do this special um, ceremony of giving the house over to the family, uh, right when the house is just about done, we ask the family to leave, we clean up the area, we blow up balloons, we put up streamers, we put a big ribbon on the door, and then we have a ceremony where we talk with the family. We tell them how much we've enjoyed working with them, uh, how much we have great hope for them for the future, uh, and then we allow them to open that door and go inside. It's a very emotional time. It's a lot of hugging, a lot of tears, and it really leaves you with a sense of giving that family the opportunity to do something more. It's, it's really a beautiful way to do that build. We live in the community, we work in the community, and uh, we really leave feeling that we're part of that community uh, when we're done. We are here at the celebration of completing our house. This is such an emotional time for me as well. It has been 
three amazing days with a beautiful family. Uh, Rodrigo and Claudia have two children. This is a hand up for them. They now have a beautiful home that they can live in. It has locks on the windows, locks on the doors. It has a roof over their head and they can now focus on other things in their life. For us that have been on the build, it's been great. We work side by side with the family. Uh, Rodrigo was our man. He, he was amazing with the nails and uh, you know, we were a girl power team, but we managed to put this house up in a little over two and a half days and we are so excited for their new life. And as I said, it's so emotional to do this. It's such a beautiful thing to do with have the family and, and to be able to work together. And uh, it's wonderful to complete another build.